A major Arab news corporation, Al Jazeera, seems to be losing ground lately with key staff from its bureau resigning. The managing director, producer, correspondent and two technicians all walked out. Ali Hashem, the former Beirut correspondent, told Press TV that his main protest was that his reports were being censured. Their main protest was a clear bias and lack of balance in covering stories in Bahrain and Syria. We had an incident, and it's really a famous incident right now. Uh, it's when we saw uh, militants and armed men in the beginning of the revolution. And then, you know, there was a problem that uh, these uh, footage didn't find it, uh, their place to, uh, on, on, on the screen. And uh, maybe that was maybe the, the main problem because it really hurt uh, the, uh, the credibility of, of the channel. The Doha-based TV channel has been seen by experts as being not only financed, but also guided by the Qatari government in its policies. The Qatari prince, Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, and his prime minister, Hamad bin Jassim, have voiced their animosity towards the Syrian government and President Bashar Assad, calling on the Arab League and the United Nations to send in troops and arms to assist the Syrian opposition militias in their operations inside Syria. Former Al Jazeera producer says he believed in the goals of the enterprise at first, but then realized that Al Jazeera's airtime was focused on news pertaining to one group of Syrians, while almost ignores Syria's constitutional reform referendum, which saw 57 percent turnout, with around 90 percent voting for change. When I was first hired, I believe in the professional standards which Al Jazeera had set. But when that channel began to show bias, I decided to leave. Several Arab corporations had begun to lose their journalistic ethics. Deputy head of the Lebanese National Media Council says that these resignations reflect the anger of the people towards the policies of the network. What's happening in Al Jazeera shows the role this network is playing in the war against Syria, while being silent about the events in Bahrain. It seems to have lost its professionalism, as other Arab and Western networks have. Lebanese media figures have called on several influential Arab networks to be balanced in reporting all Arab uprisings, including the Bahraini people's call for change, which Al Jazeera has mainly ignored. Since the beginning of the Arab uprisings in Tunisia, Al Jazeera has considered itself as the main advocate for the people's uprisings and won the respect of many across the Arab world. Yet lately, many people, especially in Lebanon, believe it has been taking sides and therefore lost its credibility. Mariam Saleh, Press TV, Beirut.